transition from paper charts to electronic medical records, or EMRs, is one of the key initiatives in the current healthcare legislation aimed to make the American healthcare system more efficient and cost effective. And indeed, in our research of a medical clinic, we observed firsthand how the introduction of EMRs has lightened the workload, especially that of the folks in medical records. They no longer need to file incoming paper into the paper charts, and they no longer need to pull charts for every visit, nor do they need to collect and move the paper chart throughout the clinic. Undoubtedly, the introduction of EMRs has saved them a lot of work. However, when we observed the work of providers, we discovered quite a different story. Rather than singing the praises of the EMRs, we mostly heard providers complain that the transition from paper charts to electronic medical records has made them less efficient, not more. Take, for instance, Dr. Velasquez, a pediatrician in one of the clinics, who described how the transition to EMR has affected her. Hey, that's what I did. Uh, I was in private practice before, and it was just paper and was so efficient. I was able to see 35 patients in an eight-hour period, pediatric patients, yeah. even physicals. I mean, because I have my physical forms that I just check, 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 check. You know, I don't have to enter, type, edit, and <laughs> do all the things that I'm doing. Right, exactly. And, uh, and I even have my nurse trained that she can fill this up for me. Uh, and I actually just did corrections if I'm, and something right. was abnormal. Right. So, that make my job very efficient and I actually did have two medical assistants instead of one. So we did work. You could do more work. We could yeah. do more work yeah. and more easy. So, But now I cannot do that. I, it's, it's really less efficient. How many people do you see now? Like on a full day, yeah. I may have on a that Monday that I work full day, like 20 patients. 20 patients, yeah. as opposed to 35. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Dr. Velasquez describes a rather astonishing reduction in productivity. When she worked with paper charts, she could see 35 patients, and now with the EMR, she can only see 20. There are a number of reasons why the transition from paper charts to EMR has created more work for providers. We will look at only a few. First, it's quite simply that paper is easier to read and manipulate than the information on the computer. Take, for instance, the difference between signing off on paper versus signing off on those same documents if they are scanned images on the computer. In the video on the right, a provider goes through a stack of paper charts very quickly, whereas on the left, the doctor spends 18 seconds just waiting for the scanned document to appear on the screen. Also note that the doctor using the paper charts can make quick annotations to the paper Paper, circling some values on a lab report, for instance. In the EMR, this can't be done as easily, and indeed the provider writes down some information from the image on a piece of paper, which she then copies into a text note that they can associate with the scanned image file. A lot more work than simply drawing circles around the noteworthy values on the paper. In short, the first reason why paper was so much faster for providers is that there are advantages to paper that are difficult to replicate in a computer system. The second reason why paper charts were more efficient is simply that with paper Paper charge, providers don't need to log in to the EMR system and find a chart. Although many examination rooms are now equipped with a computer, pulling up a chart in an examination room requires that you log on and then search for the patient's record. And according to many providers, all of this takes too much time. Moreover, Many argue that sitting at the computer in the exam room interferes with having a good interaction with the patient. To avoid this situation, many providers must now prepare for each patient visit from their office by looking at the patient's record ahead of time, something they used to be able to do on the fly as they walked from examination room to examination room, picked up a chart, and flipped it open to see the pertinent patient information their assistant had prepared for them. The third reason for why the EMRs are less efficient than the paper chart is that the system effectively blocks some users from doing certain tasks, which in effect means that providers now have to do many administrative and documentary tasks that do not require any medical judgment. The EMRs are designed for both medical record keeping as well as for billing, but the providers are responsible for entering information for both. Here, for instance, is a provider who enters a diabetic foot exam under the, the exam tab, something he needs to do as the clinic is held accountable for their diabetic care. But a few minutes later, he enters the same information into his medical note that he dictates for the transcriptionist, effectively entering the same information twice. In the days of the paper chart, the billing was done by support staff who would look at the doctor's notes 
to determine what needed to be charged. In that sense, the paper charge allowed a more flexible division of labor. These three disadvantages of EMRs are such that providers can't see as many patients now as they used to when they used paper charts. And that in turn has resulted in a decline in billing per provider and makes the healthcare system as a whole more costly.